Hey my loves, welcome to another episode. My name is Dami, if you're new here, this is a platform where we grow in faith and life. So today we're talking about building confidence as a person of virtue and excellence. If this is something you're interested in, please sit back and let's get right into the video. Why, one of the major reasons why people lack self-confidence or are not bold about who they are, it's because they overthink things. Overthinkers are not proactive in any way because they analyze oh, what if, what if this, what if that, what if I'm not doing it right, what if, uh, what if it fails, what if, what, what, what if not, eh, what if not, what if you prosper, what if you get that job, what if you take that bold step, what if you kill the fear in you, stop overthinking things. Go for it with wisdom. <laughs> not just I'm not saying that just go for anything and all that. Go for whatever God has placed in your heart. And you know the interesting thing? Whatever God has placed in your heart, if you don't act on it, someone else is going to do it and you'll be very pained because you disobeyed. By the time you see the person actually excelling in what God has put in your heart to do and you've procrastinated and overthink and overthink it without trusting the person that gave you the idea that oh he has the masterpiece he has the master script he has the blueprint he knows what to do and he knows how to do it without going back to ask on you just assume and let the devil rob you of what you're supposed to do tell your neighbor stop overthinking today please kill that thought of overthinking basically what overthinking also leads to is lack of zeal when you've overthought overthought oh i'll do it when i i'll do it when i don't think i i don't think i can i don't by before you know it that zeal that was burning in you just goes down and by the time the zeal goes down end of story there's no motivation to do or no energy no strength to do exactly what you want to do. Another reason why people are, don't ex exhibit excellence in whatever they do is because they compare themselves. You that God has created in his image and likeness, there's no two of your kind. It is just you. It is just you. You are the best version of you on earth. You pick yourself and start comparing yourself to another person that is actually trying to be a wannabe, trying to struggle to fit in. You see the person as better than you. And that's the thing. Not all that glitters is gold. This person might be doing well in your face, but you don't know what the person is doing behind. You that you've prayed and God has given you a goal ahead because he is in charge. You're comparing yourself to someone else. You give yourself unnecessary, unrealistic deadline, unrealistic goals, unrealistic targets that you put yourself under undue and unnecessary pressure. Stop comparing yourself to people. You are the best of the best version that exists. Another point I would say is build faith and confidence in God. When you don't know something, the abuse is inevitable. You don't know the amount of power you don't know the amount of strength you don't know the amount of of boldness you can draw from building a relationship with god but you just shove it aside then you start how can you even do life without god eh how can you how can you try to navigate things without god it's 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 chaotic <laughs> another thing i'll say is embrace your self-worth embrace your self-worth spend time with yourself value yourself Honor yourself, respect yourself. You can't give others what you don't have. See, self-worth thing. Eh? Hmm. I don't even know how to. I think during my 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 service, um, youth service was when I really really understood that the meaning of embracing self-worth. Like I had time to live alone. I had time to think. I had time to navigate. I had time to. That's when I really developed like some of these things I'm actually doing at the moment. I had books where I would write the vision and just right coming to head i was just writing even if i didn't execute it immediately there was still time to execute it self-worth is very important know who you are in christ know who you are know who you want to be don't just talk down on yourself don't just make yourself look cheap don't just make yourself look like you're not worth it you're what jesus christ came to die for you hey, oh god came down to die for you you're what ev even more than rubies Embrace self-worth. 
Embrace self worth, please. Spend time with yourself. Love upon yourself. Get yourself gifts. Take yourself out. You deserve it. You will save money to go and buy a one man box and singlet. But you cannot buy one toothbrush for yourself. You cannot buy even the tiniest powder for yourself. I don't have money. I don't have money. But they say, oh, come, let's, um, in relationship, somebody's birthday is coming up. You can carry 25,000 naira. Short time I say, you can carry 50,000 naira to go and buy shoe. But you cannot change your phone screen guard. Hmm? Fadike, be careful. Chizoba, hear the word of the Lord. Embrace yourself. Understand your strength. Understand your weaknesses. That is how you'll be able to set boundaries and people will not be able to easily take advantage of you. People will not be able to just throw anything to your face. People will not be able to just rob you of your time. Oh, um, um, can we go to this place? Because you don't know or you don't value your time or this is that. You just follow this is that. Before you know it, you've wasted so much time, so much years. Find your strength and passion. If you enjoy singing, develop it. It's not everyone that will get the big stage platform, but people will minister to souls. People have sang and the, the dead has come back to life. People have sang and the lame walked. Not all of them have the big stage. People have sang and because of that voice, people come to that church like, oh, I heard this voice and I just, I knew I just had to be here. People have sang and blessed souls. Embrace it. Embrace your passion and your strengths. Know your weaknesses also and work on it. Another thing I would say is do not focus on external validation. Tell yourself what you want to hear. You know, <laughs> um, every time I tell my husband, oh babe, you've not told me I look beautiful. He's like, why am I stating the obvious? I'm like, I just want to hear it. As Baba is not giving me every time, I give it to myself. I, I, I praise myself. And I'm trying to also do that with people around me. I'm trying to be intentional with compliments and all that because I like it. So I want to give it. Not because I want to receive it. I want people to know that. This is like part of me. This is one of my love language. Do you understand? Praise yourself. Don't wait till somebody tell you you are beautiful before you start feeling like you're beautiful. I know there are some times you don't feel like your best. Then God will just send one angel to just tell you that, oh, you look awesome today. And you're like, oh, really? You start feeling fly. But don't always wait for external validation. Sometimes you will not get it. Even when you desperately need it, you will not get it. So give yourself the validation you need. Don't while away in impostor syndrome, trying to beat yourself up over unnecessary things, trying to create an image of who you are not in your head. And by the time, as a man thinketh, so he is, you begin to execute whatever you are thinking. Oh, I cannot pass this exam. Oh, I cannot do this. Ah, I cannot do this. Ah, I can't do eh? It's just... No. Validate yourself by yourself. Know your value. By the time you know your value, you will know what you can take from people and what you can do. This is not trying to say be proud or be rude or be um, arrogant or despise people or disrespect them. Know your value. Know your, there was a time Pastor Joshua Selman was saying that we should, our values should be according to the fruit of the Spirit. If you're not going to be gentle around me, please don't come close. I'm not being rude, but I don't want that energy. If you're not going to radiate love, ah, oh, please take 10 steps. In short, 10 miles away from me. If you're not going to show love, if you're not going to be um, joyful, if you're not going to have self-control, please be gone. Offer, go away politely. So know your values, know what you stand for, who you are in Christ. Do not compromise. And do you know the interesting thing? When you compromise, these people, that, no, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not categorizing anybody, but when you stand for what you stand for and you stand firm by it, they'll say, oh, um, are you a Christian? Like if you now do otherwise, they'll tell you, ah, she's a Christian. Hmm. Yeah, Jesus. 
they will tell you me i'm a bad boy and i know i'm bad so leave me in my badness but you when you just try to compromise it's like, ah and it's like people are watching people are watching the goal is to be christ-like the goal is to reflect christ in everything we do and everything we say we define boundaries and communication with people people that you've not spoken to for years reach out to them if you're not getting the same energy move on try to build broken relationship those that you out of your level of understanding at that moment you cut off try to rebuild it but it's not every relationship you're going to get closure from and i'm not saying we rekindle um, boyfriend ex-boyfriend or i'm talking about relationships that in your spirit you know that this is actually an important relationship and maybe pride allowed me to misbehave at the point like okay um how can we we talk to people if there's anything i've learned from um a friend of mine that i met in the uk she's opened about everything and for the first time there was a time i was feeling like she wasn't reaching out to me she wasn't speaking with me and i was like hey babe you once told me friendship shouldn't be difficult but it's beginning to feel like this and she was like oh i'm sorry it shouldn't be that way i'm going to give you a call and it just went on smooth but oh she's not coming i'll not call her <laughs> you not text me i'll not text her <laughs> i beg you everybody's busy with their life see as everybody is busy with their life you need that relationship you need that friendship you need someone to hold your hands in times of trial you need people to intercede for you vertical horizontal relationship must be intact if you do not really need relationship god will not have created eve to accompany adam god will not have put people on this earth to have just been you existing so you need relationship but most importantly, we define boundaries and communication with others. Why is a married man calling you by 10 p.m.? What are you talking about? Why um, are you giving all your life just to your work colleagues? Or why are you doing whatever that you know that it's not right? Lastly, prioritize self-care in moderation. Emphasis on in moderation. I know there is a new trend now. Everybody wants to do skincare. This one, moisturizer, does the prioritize self-care. I'm not saying you should get the whole skincare stuff. If you can afford it, fine. If you can't, even if it's taking time off to rest, get yourself a cold bottle of coke or zobo or or um a tea or something. Just rest romance like romance your your company like build that love with yourself like let it come from within not just because um you want to do it oh they say prioritize self care mm -mm. care for yourself clean up nice wear lip gloss you don't have to do the whole makeup or fix the whole lashes well if that works for you fine will prioritize self-care take care of yourself get yourself perfumes shave <laughs> i don't even want to go into that but you know what i'm saying prioritize self-care and lastly always go back to god know yourself and always go back to god he has the masterpiece like he has the blueprint in his hand he got the whole world in his hand he's not too busy for you if you knew that you would be too busy for you he wouldn't have even put you in um in this space in the first place but he knows that ask and it shall be given unto you go back to god ask him in prayer with a sincere heart what do you want me to do how do you want me to be how did he did he ask god ask god and i pray when we go through this whole process will reflect excellence in every area of our lives till i come your way next time don't forget to subscribe like share give this video a thumbs up so it also suggests to other people and they'll be blessed through this thank you so much for tuning in today till next time we'll be blessed